Hello students, we will start chapter 5 of class 9th science. This comes under biology. The chapter's name is tissue. So, when we start this chapter, first we should know what is cell. You have studied in 8th in standard that cell is the structural and functional unit of life. And cluster of cells, they are called tissues. So, together, cells together, they form tissues. Now, in this lesson, we will be studying plant tissue and animal tissue. So, when we study plant tissue and animal tissue, first we will see what is the difference between these two. Now, plants are stationary as you all know or they remain fixed. So, the plant tissues are supportive. They provide structural strength. Why should they provide structural strength? Because the plants have to tolerate unfavorable climatic conditions like wind, scorching heat, too cold weather all these the plants have to tolerate so the tissue should provide structural strength to the plants so the the plant tissue they provide structural strength the growth is limited to certain regions like the root tip or the stem tip all these regions the growth is limited and uh, then some tissues divide throughout the life which are localized in certain regions while in animal tissue when we see the growth is limited and animals the growth is limited the structural organization of organs and organ systems is specialized and localized in complex animals like um, in our circulatory system, um, heart, the different organs that are present, heart, blood vessels and all. So the different organs they took together, they help to perform the different functions of the animal. So the specialized, so specialized organs are present for that. Animals move in search of food as plants are stationary but animals are um, always moving. Now we will see the types of plant tissue. Now the plant tissue is classified based on the kind of cells that are present. So it is divided into meristematic and permanent tissue. You can see meristematic tissue they are undifferentiated and they are capable of cell div cell division they keep on dividing they are capable of cell division whereas permanent tissue is differentiated and it is capable incapable of cell division that is it has already differentiated and it doesn't need to divide anymore so it is incapable of cell division meristematic tissue is divided into apical lateral and intercalary uh, intercalary and Permanent tissue is divided into simple and complex. Under simple tissue, parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma and under complex tissue, xylem and phloem. So we will um, go through each tissue one by one. Meristematic tissue, as I told you, they are capable of cell division.